installment of my Spanish Horse Diaries vlog. I am going to try and put in as much, oh my hat's not straight, I look like a right moron. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and put in as much riding and talking about what I'm doing with them and training them um, and stuff like that so because that's what people asked I could if I could put into the vlogs. Um, so yeah, I'll try and do as much of that as possible. I have to wait until I have somebody here to film me and the horses because I do everything alone. But yeah, I'll try and put in as much as possible and you can see how I do things with the sales horses and also my personal horses. Bandolera. Bandolera is my rising five-year-old uh, PRE stallion and he has had a bit of a difficult past. He was brought from the gypsies. I went to see other horses, to cut a long story short. I went there and he was just staring at me over the stable. Um, so he was sort of saying, pick me, pick me. So I did. Um, and originally he was going to be in the sales program and obviously I, he was a two-year-old so I was going to back him when it was time and then sell him um, but he was quite difficult he was very sharp had a lot of problems um, handling as a two three four year old and um, it was very difficult so um, I realized he wasn't going to be for sale um, and decided to keep him for myself so hopefully he will be uh, a top prospect for me once he grows up and I've trained him. Um, I sent him to one of my friends for backing because he was just really difficult um, with other people and I just wanted him to go away, grow up and be a bit more sort of independent from me. So I did that and it was the best thing I ever did for him because he came back a completely different boy and um, yeah it's going really really well so with him he has a problem with transitions um, it's taken me nearly a year just to get him to understand the half halt not run through it so as you can see from the clip uh, lots of half transitions within the pace slow go slow go the canter is easier he's a little bit more sort of through in the canter um, so that's much better so yeah, just lots and lots of transitions with him, slow work, stuff to calm him down because he can get quite hot and upset again due to his past. So just taking things really slow with him. I'm not in a rush. Um, as I said, I train them as individuals. He needs to grow and mature. He's still very weak. He's quite a big lad. Um, so we just take it a step at a time. So that's him so far.
So me and Arthur have just just done our video, our first video since he arrived. Say hi Arthur. And yeah, went very well. He's lovely. He's absolutely 100% uh, in terms of his character. He's very willing. He's got a lovely soft mouth and um, yeah, he's coming on really, really well. Uh, just need to tidy up a few of his basics and he's good to roll. So hopefully when I put the video and pictures out, we'll get him a nice home. Hey Arthur. Oh, Arthur doesn't think much to it. He just wants his carrots. <laughs> everybody um, today we are waiting for my vet Juan who is coming to vet the lovely Negrita she is hopefully sold subject to vetting so yeah just waiting for him to come uh, hopefully everything will be fine and she'll be on her way to the UK in a couple of weeks fingers crossed <laughs> So even though Negrita is sold, I have obviously been keeping her in training um, until she goes next week. And we just, again, you know, with her, she was a little bit sort of revved up from her past. People obviously had, you know, not had much experience and she is quite sensitive. So it took her a long time to relax and just sort of focus on the rider and not what was going on outside the arena and things like that. So... I've been very careful with her as well, but I would say now that she um, is, obviously she's an older horse, um, so I'm able to put in quite a bit of content now. She's been doing some really lovely um, half passes. Um, she's still very strong, but a lot of that is because she hasn't been taught to you know, use her hind leg and core. So it's just a case of patience and lots of the good work, incorporating the transitions, literally every couple of strides so that she is trying to get the weight back a little bit onto the hind leg um, and yeah I mean the canter is actually better than the trot because she, in the trot she tends to sort of pull herself along with her front end the canter obviously the hind leg drives the canter and it's a bit easier to keep her up and together so she's doing really well with that the canter is really nice now um, sitting there nicely and I can give the inside rein away and she stays really nicely there just on my seat. So I'm really pleased with her. Um, Triana, um, she's not been here a long time but she's a very uncomplicated little mare. Um, we can put in a bit of that work that I did on the video that was the video that we used to sell her. Um, and she is just very, very sweet and easy. Um, again, she's probably been trained quite a bit higher level, um, but more in Dom of Aquera. So she hasn't had much chance to sort of get the basics good. So obviously um, that's been my job to put in as much basics as I can. I then need to obviously, you know, work her a little longer and lower because the top line needs to be a little bit stronger um, and muscled up. Um, but, you know, I explain all this to the owners when we initially speak before they're bought. And the lovely lady that's buying her is a, a lady that enjoys the classical style, which will suit her really well because obviously that's what I train with. And, yeah, should, um, should be really good. So she's going to continue where I left off, keeping producing those sort of basics, the transitions, nice slow trot, trying to get a bit of rhythm in there. So, yeah, that's the plan for her. And um, luckily as well, hopefully, I'll be also being able to go down to where she's living and do a little bit of a clinic at this lady's premises, which is going to be so exciting to see her and possibly another horse that I sold um, in the clinics as well. I love, obviously, being able to see them after they leave here. Um, it's really, really nice to see.
So it's D-Day for Bamboo. He is waiting as we speak for the lorry to come and get him. And it's on its way. I've just had a call to say it's uh, that he's on his way. So I've cleaned him to the best of my ability. He's still a little bit yellow around the edges, but um, yeah. So he's waiting to go to Wales to meet his new mum. So it's all very exciting. So I wish him the best of luck. It's always um, bittersweet seeing them go. Um, I always feel very satisfied, very happy that they're going off to have a one-to-one -one home with, with fabulous people. But also, you know, a bit sad because I do get quite attached to them because obviously I do everything with them. They become like my horses in effect for the time that they're with me. Um, but yes, very, very happy, very satisfied with my job and what I've done with him. So yeah, really pleased. So it's been a really good February. We've had Bamboo off to his new home and Negrita and Triana finding their new homes. I'm sorry to everybody that inquired about Triana and wanted to see her video, but she got snapped up literally on sort of day two of her advert being out. So please do keep an eye out for horses that I've got coming up. I've got some lovely ones in the pipeline. Um, bear with me because I don't put them out until I'm 100% sure they're ready to find their homes. At the moment, we have the lovely Joyero, uh, a.k.a. Arthur. Um, as you would have seen featured in this vlog, um, he is 100% ready to find his new home. A uh, really lovely boy for anybody wanting just a really good all-round fun PRE. He also has his papers, so that makes him uh, eligible for all those um, classes in the UK if you want something that's got proper PRE stud book. Um, other than that, um, I was hoping to put in Sender. Uh, my Dutch mare for you know sort of showing you me riding her and things like that but unfortunately she had a little reaction to um, her flu and tetanus jab um, sort of middle of last week and she just had a little bit of inflammation in her neck and was a little bit low uh, for a couple of days as it can sometimes do so uh, obviously she's been on holiday and uh, won't be getting back on her till next week. She just needs a few days to recover. Um, so I will put her in the next one because she's lovely mare to watch and quite an exciting prospect, challenging me in lots of ways because she's the first sort of Dutch mare that I've had. Um, but absolutely love her and she's going really, really well. So I'll try and get some footage of her and feature her in the next one. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if there's anything you'd like to know, then please do drop me a comment or a personal message and I shall try and answer questions and incorporate things you'd like to see in the next one. So hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.